Hey y'all, welcome back to my home or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Kelly Ann and today I have a panic clean for you. I was definitely panicking because my mother-in-law was coming to stay with us for the first time. So I wanted to make sure that everything was nice and clean and in order. I picked up some new sheets for her and I'm gonna go ahead and get those washed. And I am also going to go ahead and clean a quilt that I have that is in this dresser here. It's actually that a quilt that I have saved from when I was in college. So that is my college girl era is some um, pink and green. I still think it's cute, so that's why I've held on to it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get them washed and then we are gonna continue throughout the house. There is no rhyme or reason to the way that I'm cleaning in this video. I really was just panicking and trying to get as much done as possible. So I hope y'all get a kick out of this video. I organized this hall closet not too long ago, but it has already become super messy again. I didn't have any bins when I took down my Valentine's decor, so I had to go to the store and get some more. So I just stuck my Valentine's decor in this closet. And then there's also some decorations for Drew's birthday party, which was Saturday, and it was so fun. We had a great time, but I also had some Easter decorations in here, so I'm gonna put those in this box as well. But today I am really clearing out this closet because I want to be able to store some of Drew's toys in here and I figured he'd be getting a lot of toys at his birthday. Even though we put gifts not required on the invite, everyone still brought him a present. So I am actually going to finally be throwing a lot of stuff away. I tend to hold on to stuff thinking that someday I'll use it, but today with this panic clean, I was just like, I am ready to part with it and get rid of it. So I threw away so much stuff this day. The stuff that has been up here on the shelf has seriously been there for years. I have a diaper bag up there that I had no idea what was even in it. And I am gonna end up getting rid of that diaper bag cause I don't need it anymore. And then I had like a wind chime and then some candles in these boxes. So I'm just trying to get rid of these boxes as well because obviously they take up a lot of space. But when I opened this diaper bag, I actually found an outfit in here that I didn't realize was in this bag and it actually fits Drew now. Drew still wears 18 months clothes. He can wear some 24 month, but he is on the smaller side for his age. As I said earlier, we just had his second birthday party, which was so fun, but I'm just going to finish clearing out this book bag and in a second, we are going to head out to the garage and I got pretty sidetracked while I was in there. Whenever we go to Sam's Club, Bill likes to get a big box of chips. And since it is the winter, I didn't want to keep them in the garage because when it gets cold, the mice like to come in the garage. I haven't seen any this year, but last year we had some. So I figured if we had these chips in the garage, then it would attract the mice. So I just put it in the front closet, which that took up a ton of space. 
But now we are going out in the garage and Bill forgot to take out the recycling for recycling day. So we already had two weeks of recycling in our recycling bin. So I desperately need to make some room and I figured if I climbed in there, then I would be able to squish the boxes down. And I was able to squish it about halfway down and it made a lot more space. So hopefully it won't be too compacted that when the garbage people come that they won't be able to get it out. But now I'm just putting our Valentine's bin up in its, in its place. Our garage is a hot mess. We still have not put our Christmas tree up and that is really messing things up because I haven't been able to put other Christmas decorations away. It is just a hot mess right now, but our Christmas tree is too heavy for Bill and I to lift. And then our outdoor bench was in our garage because the outside of our home just got pressure washed and we didn't want them to mess up our bench. So yeah, our garage is a hot mess. That is why I got so distracted in here. <laughs> yeah, this is a very chaotic and panicky video, but I hope you're getting a kick out of it. that was actually a little mouse I just had to pick up. Rest in peace little mouse. I'm sorry you died in my garage but I'm keeping it real. There was a dead mouse in here so that was pretty gross but I picked it up and threw it away and now I'm just gonna try and get rid of some of these boxes that are cluttering our garage. I'm getting so sick of this garage. Ugh, maybe this will be part of my spring cleaning series is revamping our garage. One of the issues that we have with this house is storage. There is not a lot of storage. The attic is super tiny and we don't have a backyard so we can't put a storage shed in. So I have to get very creative when it comes to storage as you are about to see. I realized that I had empty space under this vanity so I'm going to store some of our pillows under here. I figured this would just keep them out of the way and then the big cushion in a little bit I'm gonna end up taking it up to our attic where I can lay it where it won't be in the way I put it like sort of in the crossbeam since it's so light it's not like I'm gonna crush anything or cause any damage but now we are just cleaning the tub this tub has been getting so much use lately we've been taking so many baths in here so I'm gonna give it a good deep clean to get everything all nice and clean again When my mother-in-law was in town, we took her to go see a house in the neighborhood that we love. My husband is a realtor, so we're able to see whatever house we want on the market. And there was only one house for sale in the neighborhood that we love right now, and it was a three bed, so we definitely need more bedroom space. We would like to have an office. The home we're in now is a three bed, but we just took her to see it so she could see like the style home of this neighborhood. And she loved the neighborhood, or at least I think she did. She said she really liked the neighborhood that we were looking at. But I don't know when we'll be moving. We, I mean, it's very limited inventory in the neighborhood that we love but we know the area that we want to be in. It's pretty close to our house. We like the side of town that we're on because it is close to downtown where my husband's office is. So in the mornings, it doesn't take him too long to get there. There's other areas of town that we like as well, but it's just his transportation time would be a lot longer than it is right now. But hopefully in the next couple of years, we will be moved into a larger home 
My number one thing I think now with having Drew is that it would be really nice to have a yard space for him to play around in and like a safe area because our backyard right now is a drop off to a busy road. So we aren't able to play in our little back area. We just have a patio anyways, but it's really hard to play with him outside in our neighborhood that we're in right now. Per usual, I had a lot of laundry to do, and when I was scrubbing that tub, my wrists had just had enough, so between the tub and then putting that tote on that top shelf, my wrists had had enough for the day. I don't know if I have carpal tunnel or if it's like an old cheerling injury because I was a base, so my wrist used to get really hurt and messed up back when I was like in high school, but sometimes I have to wear my brace when my wrist is really bothering me, and then I do like the two Tylenol, one Advil combo, which seems to really knock out the pain. And I also iced it this day as well. But I was like, this is the worst day for this to happen, to have a flare up because I had so much to do. And I also had to prep for Drew's party because I ended up blowing up like 150 balloons by myself in preparation for his party. So I was having to use my wrist a lot with that as well. Thankfully, the next day when I woke up, it was feeling better and it is feeling a lot better now. Thank goodness. I hope it stays that way. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool our fridge was a mess too, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out as well. And I also feared we'd be bringing home leftovers from Drew's birthday party, so that's why I am making space. And I was correct because we had some of his cake left over and I have still been enjoying it. We got him a cake from Nothing Bunt Cakes. So good, it's my absolute favorite cake and Drew likes it too. I feel like doing a panic clean, like when you know you have company coming or if like a friend texts you and they're like, hey, I'm gonna be over in 15 minutes, like I'm on your side of town, it's okay if I stop by. Like you get so much done in such little time when you are panic cleaning. And I feel like that's exactly what happened this day. I got so much done. I was in every single area of the house. I was not able to vacuum our upstairs because of my wrist, but the next morning before she came, I vacuumed everything as well.
lucked out in the mother-in-law department. I have the sweetest mother-in-law, even if I didn't clean my house. I don't think she'd really care, but I wanted to make sure everything was nice and neat for her. And y'all should see what it looks like now after his party. I told her, I was like, it was neat when you got here and that's all that matters because now my house is trash. So I will definitely be having a good clean with me coming up. I have so much stuff to put away. I have to clean all of Drew's new clothes that he got because he got so many new cute outfits. He got a lot of bluey stuff. And before I had him, I was like, my kid will never wear character shirts. Like, no, those are so tacky. But now I'm like, oh, yay, bluey. Let's get him all the bluey shirts and all the bluey clothes that we can find. He got a pair of like the, um, my mother-in-law found him some of the bluey slides that they have at Target right now that are selling out like crazy. When she went to Target, they were stocking them and she was able to grab him a pair. And then Drew also got a pair of light up bluey sneakers at his birthday party. So Drew is just all set when it comes to bluey merch. These bar stools get so messy because they're right by Drew's high chair, so he likes to throw food on them. But my brother, my mother-in-law gave Drew a little cute table and chairs for his birthday, so now that is where he eats his meals. And he was also trying to climb out of his high chair, so it's time to retire this thing. So this coming week, I will be taking it down. I got him one of those toddler tower things that go up by your countertops. He really has no interest in it. Unfortunately, I thought he'd be super excited about it because he does try to climb up on these bar stools to get to the counter, but maybe, I don't know, he'll just have to get used to it. I got him some little toddler plastic knives as well so he can start helping me cook, but it'll be weird not having his high chair there, but he looks so cute when he sits at his table. He's been coloring at his table and he's had every meal at his new little table. He's so cute. This side table here has so many papers in it and old bills that we don't need anymore. So I'm just sorting through it and I'm going to get rid of whatever we don't need to keep. Some of it is like tax information and stuff from last year that I'm going to hold on to just in case we need it. But it's just a lot of random stuff. Some like golf papers that my husband has. He used to be a like golf professional. He went to college for golf. So he still gets stuff in the mail all the time from golf related things and he just puts them aside and a lot of them ended up in this little side table here. So that is what I am organizing and it's just, it's just going to make it look a lot neater. I don't know why I cannot talk today so please just ignore me just tripping over my tongue.
The last thing I'm doing today is just going to tidy up our living room. It wasn't too messy. Drew just had a couple of toys on the floor that I need to pick up. But that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this panic clean and can hopefully relate to it because I think we've all panicked clean at one time or another. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video.